Hey there, Mayflom here, and if you are familiar with my crafting style, shoot, if you've seen the header on my newly designed blog even, then you know I am big on no stress, no rules, just have a good time crafting. That being said, that does not mean I'm never without, I'm always without stress or just live a carefree life over here. Uh, no, stress happens, you know, things happen. Um, so here's something that's stressing me out right now with my scrapbooking. Um, I have approximately a billion, okay, it's not a billion, I'm going to guess it's more like 200, maybe 250 pictures from Hawaii. Random things. That's the muffin. It's called a Maui muffin. The West End Maui. So fantastic. So good, in fact, that I refuse to eat anything else for breakfast. I ate one of those every single day. It had like carrot and coconut and nuts and oh my, it was just insanely good. You know, and here's the pineapple orange guava juice the girls had every day. You know, there's just like, there's a gazillion photos. And I have scrapbooked. Um, you may have seen some of my scrapbook pages from Hawaii because I've done a lot of them. Okay. But there's a couple things here with Hawaii. Number one, we did very few things. Um, we went snorkeling one time. We went to a luau one time. And okay, every single meal we ate was amazing. But uh, we even ate a couple of meals at the same restaurant. So um, there was some duplicate meal places in there. Uh, and as much as I love to scrapbook, like, okay, here we had, oops, that's not Hawaii. See, I got to sort these pictures. As much as I like to scrapbook um, my travels and my adventures, there gets to a point where it's like, okay, am I going to really make a whole another layout? You know, am I going to do a whole layout about this phenomenal crab cake? I could, and if I felt like it, I would, but I don't know. There's something kind of holding me back on making a ton of Hawaii pages. Um, and I'm not, I'm not really, I don't know. I've made some, but I feel like there's so many more to make. And the other thing that's kind of happened is I feel like I'm so, I have so much to scrapbook and that's half of them. I, I need to figure out where the other half even is. Um, but I feel like I have so much to scrapbook on this right now that I'm kind of feeling like overwhelmed by it. So I generally, Hawaii gets pulled out if I have some, like an assignment or something and I need to use certain product and I know my Hawaii pictures will go good with it. But other than that, Hawaii's been getting left out and I hate it because I want a finished, this was our family, every one of us, it was our first trip to Hawaii, first trip to Maui, and I want a finished scrapbook of it and it's really bothering me. Okay, so there's the background on that part two, and I promise there's going to be a whole point to this. I think at least part two project life. I'm not a project life person. Um, and I've, I've been very open with the fact that the idea, the idea of project life to me is a really cool one. And I really think that if it's inspiring to you and if you are think like if you're overwhelmed by scrapbooking or if you've kind of lost your passion for scrapbooking or if scrapbooking like takes you a really long time and you want to tell your stories but you just don't know how to say it or what a, maybe layout design trips you up whatever it is um I think project life can be absolutely phenomenal for helping people tell their stories and for helping capture memories okay I think it is a fantastic thing in theory me personally in practice, after I would say by week three of Project Life, I would see it as a chore. Okay, I don't like to have regular things that I absolutely have to do, creatively speaking. I don't want to have like a set thing and a set look and a, you know, little pockets to fill. No, it gives, it, it makes me want to run away and scream. That's not what I, that's not how I create. That's not what I want to do. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's definitely not my thing. You're definitely not going to see... Um, all of a sudden I start, pro you know, you're never going to see me on the project life design team. At least I don't, unless it's the, she doesn't do project life design team. And then maybe you'd see me on it. But anyhow, um, I've got this kit though, as you can probably tell if you're a project lifer, you probably, these probably maybe look familiar to you. This is one half. Okay. This is only half of a kit. There is just that much. If you buy a project life kit, it is really a huge amount. 
Um, and you don't need to buy a Project Life kit to do Project Life, by the way. But anyhow, I split this kit with my good friend Melissa, um, which was really cool that she wanted it too, because this is only, okay, this is half. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to do some serious journal card usage, and I totally plan to just use this with my everyday regular scrapbooking. That said, I was just watching Melissa's video for two peas about how she, her project life, how she keeps her supplies and her process and stuff. And it just, all of a sudden, some things clicked in my head and I went, okay, wait a minute. This kit that I have is perfect colors for Hawaii. Hawaii is stressing me out. Maui 2012 is stressing the heck out of me because I really want to finish scrapbook. I really want, I just really do. And it's, you know, every once in a while I get feeling strongly about a vacation or a subject that I want a scrapbook and I want the scrapbook to be finished. Okay. That's how I'm feeling about Hawaii right now. I've got all this stuff and I've got loads of notes, by the way, about all the tiny little details that happened in Hawaii because I took a day book to Hawaii and every single day at the beach, at the pool, wherever, I made notes about every meal we ate, about everything we did, about silly things that were said, whatever. I've got a full day book of nothing but notes, okay? So, and I do have a number of Hawaii pages scrapbooked, so I know I want 12 by 12 format. So, all of those, you know, separate kind of things pulled together, I am embarking upon Project Hawaii. It's not Project Life, and it's not my normal scrapbooking style. It's Project Hawaii. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be sharing, I'm going to try to do this in a very short period of time, but on let's say Wednesdays. Yeah, I like Wednesdays. That's a good day. Um, let's say Wednesdays or Thursdays. Let's just say midweek because let's, let's face it. I don't commit to regularly scheduled um, posts on my blog. I mean, I do have the one Simon Says stamp on Mondays, but other than that, I have a very hard time committing to a regular blog schedule. Um, I'll actually do whatever, but midweek, let's say midweek, I will do a post every week until it's done. Um, and share with you Project Hawaii. Now, the plan is, I've got this half of an olive kit for Project Life. I have, uh, that's only a small amount, but I have lots of 4 by 6 photos. And I have probably an obscene amount to most people, but uh, it's normal to me. I have many, 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 I think at last count, maybe I was close to 200 sheets of craft cardstock. Um, and I'm going to be using the Basil Craft cardstock for this because it, there's a little, I like them both. This is the coordination, so this is the Basil. The Basil has a little more like sandy color to it. It's a little lighter. I think it'll work better for my backgrounds for what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the cardstock, the photos, and the Project Life little pre cut dealios. And no, this is not exactly how I'm going to go. And yes, I'm going to put more, more photos in here, but I'm just going to go to town. I really am. And we're just going to make 12 by 12 layouts. No, I'm not going to go out and buy special page protectors because honestly, we can just make this work on a 12 by 12 paper. I can just crop maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch off my photos so that everything still has a little bit of room. So it still has that kind of project life kind of layout look um, without being any particular size. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Um, I'm hoping for it to be an even faster than usual scrapbook experience for me. And best of all, when I'm done, combine these pages with, I don't know, either at the beginning or at the end, all of my actual, like, I'll call them fancy scrapbook pages, and I've got a completed album. Boom. All right, that's the introduction. If you've got questions or if you've got things you'd like me to see me cover um, with this series, please feel free to leave a comment over on my blog. I'll be back next week with a layout.